My name is Keaton Ditchfield. Ever since I could walk, I've been obsessed with fishing and the outdoors. I also have a huge passion for spreading the love of fishing and teaching others so that they can improve their knowledge and their catch rates. This series is for all you guys that are new to carp fishing. I'm going to take you through the baits, rigs, rods, pods, bank life, carp care, pretty much anything you need to know to get into carp fishing, and even give a tip or two that the most advanced anglers might not know yet. And this is my tip top guide to carp fishing. Comfort on the bank. Now half of the joy of fishing is being outside for long periods of time. It allows you to just sit back and, in, and enjoy nature at its best. So these are the factors that are going to help you be comfortable on the bank because being comfortable on the bank is the one factor, is the only factor that'll dictate whether you're going to love being outside for long periods of time or you're going to hate it. So being comfortable is super important and these are the things that will help you be comfortable on the bank. The first thing you need is a good shelter, something that will keep you shaded in the sun, dry in the wet and stay up if we have one of our big high felt storms. So having something that will do all of those things and pack up to a small package is very important. The two man NGT Fortress X ticks all of the boxes for a good shelter. This bivvy comes with an oversized bag and is quick and easy to set up and take down. It is supplied with all of its pegs and a detachable ground sheet. The fortress is very versatile and can suit your fishing. Whether you want to be completely covered, mozzie meshed, open doored or completely open fronted, it can do it all. The peak has two rod straps and keeps out the rain as well as the extra sunlight from coming into the front. The back window can be unzipped to show its mozzie mesh to allow for better airflow. Overall, the shelter will keep you shaded in the sun, dry in the rain, and sheltered from all of our harsh South African weather. The next thing you need is something good to sleep on. There's nothing worse than waking up in the morning and having a sore back and spending the rest of the day worrying about your sore back or your sore neck or something like that. You'd rather have something that is comfortable to sleep on and therefore you can just wake up in the morning fresh as a daisy and enjoy the outdoors and enjoy your fishing. Another good point is having something that is quick to set up. Having something that's quick to set up means your setup time is less and therefore your fishing time is more. The NGT Specimen Bed Chair is a great all-round sleeping platform. It is very comfortable with soft padding with extra back support. It has an adjustable locking hinge that allows for both sleeping and sitting angles. The legs are made of reinforced aluminium and are extendable with mud feet for any uneven conditions. The specimen bed chair is also fast to set up and take down with a setup time of 30 seconds. Overall, it's a great thing to sleep on. The next thing you need is you're not going to spend your whole day sitting on a bed chair or lying on a bed chair. You want to have something to sit on that is you sit upright and it's just really nice. My bed chairs do go up and it is like a lounge, lounger chair, but having a nice chair that you can sit on and just chill on and not worry about your back or anything like that is super important. The NGT Profiler Plus is similar to the Specimen bed chair, except it's the sitting version. Both products fold up and down, have extendable reinforced legs, aluminum chassis, and are built for long-term comfort. The Profiler chair has its own features when it comes to materials that you sit on. It has three different materials to maximize your comfort. The next thing you need is something to keep your cool drinks and your food cold and fresh. Like a decent cooler box or a decent camping fridge is vital. The next thing you need is something to cook your food on. Now, you can have a braai, that's great. Then you need to bring wood and charcoal and all that kind of stuff. Also what I bring is a little propane gas cooker. It's small and it's just ideal enough to cook a meal for me. It's overnight sessions, it's absolutely perfect. I can boil water in it for my coffee and tea in the morning and in, in the evening. Quick to set up, quick to pack away, and it's everything I need in it. The next thing you need is good light when it's dark. When the sun goes to sleep, you're gonna need to see, especially when there's a fish on. A good thing to get is a solid headlamp. Headlamps are great. Wherever you look, it's shining. I've got this one from LED Lenza. It is super, super bright. Now headlamps are great, but they're a bit annoying when you inside a bivy, you're changing your clothes, you put it down and it shines in your eyes. It's not great. Inside a bivy, you want something that is 
small and light enough to light up your whole bivy. Now this little bivy light from NGT is great, it's clever. See there's the LEDs on it, it takes three um, AA batteries as well as it's got this plate. Now what does this plate do? So what you do is you take that plate that I've made disappear, you put it on top of the bivy and then do this. <laughs> so clever! All you do is stick it like that and then you can turn it on and off and it stays there. It's not going to damage your, damage your uh, bivy. Now the next thing you need is power. I'm not talking about a generator or something ridiculous like that. I'm just saying something that will keep your phone alive, like a power bank. That's perfect to keep your phone alive so when you do catch your PB, your phone is alive and you can take a photo of your PB. Keeping your phone alive and your phone is sometimes entertaining if you're bored on the bank, if you're there for like five days, it's nice to check Facebook, watch a TikTok fishing video, know what I mean? But yeah, having a light and having power is very important. Or you could use something like this. Now usually, if I was filming something like this, I would use my professional lighting systems that I have bought from a proper camera shop and all that kind of thing, but I'm not. I'm using the NGT floodlight and power bank system, which is this guy here. So I'm gonna take this off of the camera, turn on my normal pro professional lights, and I'm gonna tell you about it. So now that I'm using my normal camera light, this is the NGT floodlight and power bank system. Now this thing does a lot of different things, but I'm gonna tell you about three of them. The first thing is it actually acts like a floodlight. It is bright enough to illuminate all sorts of things. Like it doesn't look very bright now because I've got a very bright light sitting right next to it and only picking up with the camera, but it lights up my whole bivy very easily as well as it'll light up your campsite. So therefore, if you're catching a fish, it'll light up the area so you can see what you're doing. The second thing is it's good enough to light just your bivy. If you, it's got a setting over here where if you turn it, you can change the brightness setting. So from pretty dim, just on, and then it goes all the way to its 500 lumens. With using it as a bivy light, at 30%, it can last up to 75 hours, which is more than a weekend if you just want to use it for lighting. And if you are at 100%, it'll light for 11 and a half hours. That's a lot of light for a long time. The third thing it does is on the other side, so not to the turning on side, on that side, it has got a USB. So you can plug in your phone and charge your phone. It's got a 10,400 milliamp hour battery inside it. Therefore, if you're only gonna use it for charging your phone, it's a power bank that'll charge your cell phone about five times, like each phone is different, but it's up to five times with a cell phone. That's pretty decent. The next thing you need is a good bag to keep all your stuff in, like this. The NGT XPR multi-compartment rucksack. This thing has got plenty of space up top, at the bottom. Inside it's got a main compartment which takes a lot of stuff. I didn't take everything because I'm not really on the bank here for six weeks but this can take a couple of clothes for an overnight session. You can take your pop-ups and stuff like that. It's got side compartments, stick your bank sticks in it. It's got everything you need. It's got nice, comfortable shoulder straps. It's pretty much a really, really great bag that is designed by anglers for anglers, which is pretty convenient. The next thing you need is something to keep you warm when it's cold. Now, it's just going into summer now, so you're not gonna need something hectic, but a decent sleeping bag is great. The next two things you need go in hand in hand because the South African sun can be pretty pretty nasty and that is water and sunblock. Sunblock and water go hand in hand because heat stroke can block some you to the point where you don't want to go outside again. So make sure you've got enough water and enough sunblock when you're going out in the sun. The next thing you need is your overnight box. Now overnight box has got to have plate, forks, knives, spoons, your cleaning up stuff like your little lappy and your sponge, tiny bit of dishwashing liquid, your salt, pepper, little bit of oil, so your antihistamines, and your coffee, sugar, tea, bags, 
and a little bit of long life milk. That thing has changed my life. Not really, it hasn't changed my life, but it just makes my camping and stuff so much easier. I just literally grab it, go to the bank, I know everything's there, use my stuff, then I get home, clean it, replenish what I've used, like the coffee or tea or um, the dishwashing liquid or the oil or whatever, and then I'm ready for the next session, ready to clap the bank and catch as many fish as I can. So that's it for this episode of It's Tip Top Fishing. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you with your, your bank comfort. And if there is something that you guys find that helps you a lot on the bank, please remember to pop that in the comments. Let's tell everyone else what you guys think. Maybe like a gazebo is great or something, a nice ground sheet or I don't know. You guys, tell me what you guys think is a pretty cool thing to use. And then, yeah, let's share this video. Share it like crazy. Let's spread the love of fishing. Let's create more awareness for the sport that we love. Let's create more participants in the sport we love. Let's get the kids fishing. Let's get the families fishing. Let's get more girls fishing. Let's get the whole of South Africa to fish and enjoy the sport we love. So I'll see you next time on It's Tip Top Fishing. <music>